Hi, I'm Brian Gorbett from Microsoft. I'm an architect in the developer and platform evangelism organization, and I'm here in New York City for Internet Week, and we're displaying digital media and local media for local artists as well as our new operating system Windows 7 here in this space. We are really embracing the idea of social media and social marketing and being able to take advantage of platforms out there like Facebook and Twitter, MySpace, LinkedIn and embrace that because so many people are navigating and, and, and gravitating towards those types of properties. We understand that the future of uh, both marketing as well as I think just general social communication is moving to those platforms. So it's important for um, both us as well as our company to participate in that and, and Microsoft does wholeheartedly um, within again our evangelism organization. Um, all of us are on those platforms, we interact with people on those platforms and we take advantage of just the viral networking, especially even at an event like this where we've used methods like Twitter to, to market the event, bring people in, see the technology. Absolutely, I think it's not just Microsoft that's doing it, you can see many, many other companies that are navigating towards social media and using that as a platform to market. Um, for instance, again, I, I go back to the great example of Twitter. Um, I you know, posted something uh, just, just a while back ago about a SanDisk card I was having problems with. One of their vice presidents on Twitter reached out to me specifically as a consumer because I was having a problem. So I think it's important that um, Microsoft as well as other large companies embrace that as, as a platform to get feedback and also provide feedback about our technology and our products. It's, it's cost effective, it's, it's an ability to reach, um, reach really breadth audiences where um, it's not like direct mail and you have to consolidate, you have to pull in all those people and in information. They're out there wanting more information from places like Microsoft or companies like Microsoft and this gives us the ability to offer them um, not just you know support or whatever but actually information about our products information about our technology and information that they are seeking we use those tools and we we've become so adept at using them you know the searching criteria it's actually very very rich and it's not something we had to buy computer that is touch enabled multi touch enabled it's a little bit different than what we saw with Windows 7 um, multi-touch because this is actually using cameras underneath the unit that are able to sense the touch. And then again, it's multi-touch. It is a bit different in the technology, but it gives you an idea of how Windows 7 is bringing some of the same technology to life. So what we'll do, we'll take a look at some of the applications that our partners have designed to work on Surface. One of them, this one's called Surface DJ. So what Surface DJ is, is actually um, a DJ where you're able to take these little discs and as I bring them in here, you start hearing some music. And I can add different riffs, add some drums there, add some percussion cymbals there. I can throw a little more drums there. What's actually nice is that multiple people can work around the unit, so it, it detects multiple touch points. And I can pull these out, and we could do various different things where it, where it lowers the volume then. This is actually just the default pawn, which is just allows you to kind of play around, something, we, something like we saw similar in um, the Windows 7. But if I was at a hotel, I could walk up to something like this, and actually, this is called concierge, obviously, and actually take a look at a map Let's just rotate that around for me. And then, that's just telling me I'm not on the internet. But if you could imagine if I was at a hotel and I wanted to find various restaurants, it would be real easy, this in this case it's Austin, real easy for me to just walk around and say, hey, I want to put a restaurant choice in there, I'll type a name and it would come up. So that, gives you an example of maybe what you would do if I was at a hotel location, for instance. So for instance, if I was at a restaurant, this might be a wine guide would be interesting. Now I can't show you this exactly because what Surface also can do is recognize what's called tags. And so for instance, here's a card, and I don't know if you can see that, but this on the back has a 128 bit tag on it. And Surface would actually recognize, and this is actually flipped around a little bit, um, but Surface would, so a wine guide, if I were to imagine this kind of tag sitting on the bottom of a wine glass, when I set it down, it would actually tell me details about that wine or various foods, for instance. So you can imagine if this were a restaurant table, when I set my plate down of what I just ordered, it may tell me information like how many calories or how many grams of fat or how much sugar might be in it if I was diabetic. Maybe one of the last applications I'll show you, this is actually a company in Chicago called Threadless. 
and they are a t-shirt company. So this is a great application for them to have potentially at one of their retail stores where people can demonstrate or build their own t-shirts. So I could just come over here, I could pick a color, I could say I wanna add some various graphics to it. I just drag the graphic on and I could actually enlarge it. So I might just want not the full eight. You can see it auto photo imposes in there. Maybe I'll grab this. This might not be that interesting of, a, of something to maybe actually wear, but you could see how it becomes, and I'll just change the color over here with the wheel. Notice I just still have the ability to do that. I could do custom. So you could, I don't know why I'd ever do this, but you could see maybe I'll just put my initials. And so what would happen then, obviously, if this was a real store application, I would say, purchase this, they would go make it, and then a retail application like this would be you know, e-commerce enabled. Parting words is this is probably one of the best, I think, venues and events that I've participated in in a long time. Um, one, because it was quaint, and, it's, and we're meeting a lot of interesting people. Um, and I think I just wanted to also thank JNR. Um, for giving us all of this great technology that, you know, the computers that I showed you that were running Windows 7, provided by JNR, um, they've really helped us out. I think they're instrumental in making this happen. Uh, I think uh, I've used JNR, and I don't live in New York just online because they have such a breadth of products. But again, it, it goes to show that um, whether it's viral marketing or social media, how we interact with people um, and companies like JNR that might be local to New York, um, I'm interacting with them on Twitter, you know, the JNR blog. So, um, I, I love it. I love being able to kind of interact with companies in that way, and JNR has been great in enabling me to do that.